Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and it is the very last day of 2019 so I thought that I would look back on the decorations I've done for my house because I'm going to be doing some remodeling once the new year comes. So this is just going to be me showing you where I am right here. We're in the lavender beds, plot 30. Hope you do get a good look because it is going to be completely different from that one because I've kind of gotten bored of it already. Anyway, I call it Dragon Sleep in honor of Heaven's War because that was when I got it. It's in Plot 30, the Ninth Ward in the Lavender Beds. If you ever want to come and visit, everyone's free to come and visit. And sorry, but my doorbell isn't working, so I just need you to shout out Ding Dong. I know, it was, it was a stupid greeting, but hey, it was funny at the time. Anyway, this is a designer home. It's a message book and a library all in one. So you see we have like the living garden archway where I think a lot of people actually do that. But I have a birdhouse right here and across the stepping stones. And we're just going to get one good final look around before it changes. So nothing too interesting over in this direction. But in the other direction, it's actually quite interesting, but we'll get there in a moment. This is actually the latest edition. It's a homestyle deck. And I actually have a giant glowing fluff ball growing out of the pot here. So that's fun. I think I'll keep those. And I'll definitely keep a few more other items out here. Probably just going to rearrange them. It's not really too much of a struggle to really kind of put everything together in the outside apartment here. But I got my fountain, my glowing etherite, which I put in the fountain, which gave it a nice sparkling glowy effect. I think I will definitely change out the fountain. It doesn't really look as extravagant as I am hoping for. So we got my flowers, my trees. I actually have the firefly baskets. Definitely keeping those. I love the effect of those. I am going to be keeping my treehouse over in this direction so I can spy on my neighbors. And I love this little idea where I can actually use it to actually jump up here. Now, if only I could actually jump on top of this little Nama Zoo and then I could actually have a way to get to the roof. But because I can't do that yet. But here is my house. It's gorgeous. It's in the Shirogane style. And it's got these bright blue roofs. And I'm definitely going to have to change out the blues. I love blue. It's my favorite color. Blue and pink, I think. Yeah, blue and pink are my favorite colors. So I got the Hingon style house. I'm going to keep the shell of it. I'm going to be keeping the glamour effects for this house, but I'm definitely going to be changing the color when the new year comes around. Oh, and there's a nice little detail around back I would like to show everybody. As you can see, I got this nice little wooden dock walkway, and it's actually taking me out back to where we get this beautiful view of the waterfall. Now that is a great view. If only I can see that a little more clearly from my house. Like, they need bigger windows, you know. Anyway, we'll just take the long way back. So it's a little bit of a stroll, I suppose, like if you want to do like a whole circle of it, but I like it. And I'm actually pretty happy in this particular location. Unless, of course, they do change it so that we have Ishgardian housing now. I'm definitely going to be moving if that's the case. I will be moving to Ishgard if I get the chance. Anyway, I think that we should now be heading off inside where I can show you all what everything looks like before I do the remodeling, like home renovations. We need a change. That's what I think we need. Definitely need a change for the new year. So on the ground floor here level, this is actually going to be a seating area and the kitchen. And I'm really proud of how well it turned out. I'm super proud of how well it turned out. And here we are. So this here is like kind of the main seating area. This is the dining room. And this is the first doorway here. I actually have two Ananta guards protecting the doorway. Yeah, I think I'll keep them both. I love the Ananta here. This little area here is actually in this nice little cubby hole where I have a Namazu ready to take your coats and put your shoes up. This is just where anybody, whether it be me or any guest, can put up their coats and just come in and feel welcomed. I mean, who wouldn't want to be welcomed by some Ananta guards in a Namazu? 
Moving on, we have seating area with a cute little Christmas tree in honor of the holidays. I had like all this Christmas stuff up or I guess Starlight stuff up, but with Starlight over, I felt that it would be good to have everything moved up for the time being. I got some nice Hingon style decorations on the walls. I especially love my models here. They are beautiful and so elaborate. They look so real. And I'm going to have to find a new place to put those because I'm thinking about moving the kitchen to this area instead. So moving on over here past the dining room area and I have my lucky carbuncle in my message book over here if you ever want to come visit and leave a nice little note for me. I do love notes. This here is my dining room table. We have a cake waiting for everybody. Got some more decorations up on the wall. Oh and I almost forgot this. This is my diamond dust chandelier. All right, moving here, we kind of have like a breakfast bar area. We have this nice little tank where you can sit back and enjoy the little fishies swimming around while you can enjoy all this delicious food. I got my stewardess in there along with my head chef who doesn't really seem to do much now that I think about it because I'm doing all the cooking. This nice little opening here where I have another butler outside waiting. And yeah, I am so proud of how well my kitchen area turned out. And there's definitely a kind of step feeling to it, like with all the herbs and got all this food stacked up everywhere. And a few little knickknacks from the Crystarium. Oh, and I love all the food that I prepared. I love the housing food because it just looks so nice. Just so decorative. And of course, there is always going to be plenty of food going around. All right, so now we'll head downstairs. Oh, and as we head downstairs, you see my head of Ifrit up on the wall. Nice little decoration from the Realm Reborn days. And here we are in my personal library. Oh yeah, this one took a while to actually build up. But first I'll show you my little cubby hole where I have my adventure journal here. Just a little bit of privacy. But yes, here is my beautiful library. So proud of this one. And I actually made it so that the walls here, like the shelving of books, actually curve inward towards the fireplace. And of course we have all this treasure here. Because I imagine Claire has since has all these books, she's probably doing a lot of research on all these treasures that she brings back from all of her adventures. I have this nice little table that I put little decorations on during seasonal events. Moving over here, I have a second aquarium, which is bigger than the first one. And I have the Megalodon jaws right above it, just as a funny little touch. So in here is actually kind of an office area where, once again, since Claire does go all across Eorzea and then the Far East, and now we've got a whole new world to explore, she's going to be kind of keeping all this stuff here as kind of research. So there are a few decorations, just a nice few little tidbits that she earned from her adventures. And I actually made it up here so that she can actually jump, like right up here, if she ever just wants to get a good look at everything down below. It's just, a, uh, just to help keep her sharp for her, her jumping skills because let's face it, we're going to be having a lot of jumping puzzles coming for us in the future. So this is actually just a nice little trophy house, I suppose you could call it, because there are a lot of trophies here, just a lot of sentimental items that I just can't seem to get rid of. I don't know, that's just me. Now we're going upstairs to where we have the bedrooms and the bathroom. I have this little couch area right here. Just sitting and reading, I suppose. And once again, I'm very proud of how well this turned out. So we'll start off in here, which is the guest bedroom. So it's pretty small, but it's actually really nice as well. It's a double bunk bed, so multiple people can come in. I have the shelving area, which I actually earned from Eureka. And I got a few dolls set up there. Of course, I have our dear friend Hoshifant up on the wall there as well. And here, which I worked very hard on, are a lot of my stuffed animals. Like, these are all the stuffed animals that I was able to at least fit up here. I have an extra one by the bed, just for comfort reasons. And just a lot of decoration, just a lot of little touches that kind of tie it all in together. So this is, yes, the spare bedroom for any guests who want to come over and visit really nice then we'll go out to the hallway here and i just want to take a moment to admire this it's so simple but i just love how well it ties together 
Okay, so in here we'll be moving on to the bathroom. I'll explain what that little closet area is there for in a moment. But this here is my bathroom area. Just a nice little Far Eastern style bathroom. And just a lot of privacy. It does have some windows here that you can kind of look out into the world and not have to worry about anyone looking back. Anyway, in this little cubby area is actually kind of a makeup or costumes room. It's kind of like an area where Claire can come here and like fix up all of her outfits and make her own supplies. We have potion bottles, we have stones here that she can enhance her items with or use to make jewelry. So that's just really her to-go room for adventuring. And finally, we have her personal bedroom here. We have our nice little statue area here, just some trophies that we were so proud to create way back in the day. And yes, yeah, so this here is her personal bedroom. Some more trophies, as you can see. This is actually the latest edition. It's the Ishgardian shelving, and we actually have a stuffed race Balgar there. So cute, we'll love that. We also have the Crystarian Furnace. We actually have a tea set and some sandwiches there in case she gets hungry in the middle of the night. So this here is the bed. It's a simple design, but it's a lot of shelving space so that she can put a lot of her trophies, which she worked very hard to get. There's also a nice little seating area right here where you can actually sit, enjoy a drink, play some music as you talk with friends. And of course, we have the stairs up to a small loft area. Not too much going on in the loft. Don't really spend too much time up here because it's so small. I'll have to fix that and make it a little bit more interesting when the renovations go undergo. But yes, yeah, so this here is my personal house. It's not a free company house. I put all the time and effort here. I crafted most of the items. And I had a lot of free time on my hands, as I'm sure you could tell. So it is dark outside right now, so I want to show you really quick what my outside area looks like in the dark. And we will call it there for the night. So I hope that everyone is going to be looking forward to some new surprises and all sorts of events that are going to be coming up for us in 2020. I know that I certainly am looking forward to that. I really, really, really cannot wait to see what they have planned for us, especially with the latest patch is going to be coming out, I think, in February. Anyway, this was my personal house. I show you all the ins and outs of it, and I'm really looking forward to showing everyone what it looks like when the renovations are done. So until next time, everyone, I hope everyone has a wonderful new year, and I'll be seeing you all again sometime in the near future. At least I hope so. So until then, everyone, take care, and once again, Happy New Year. Or I suppose in this case, Happy Heavenstern.